So I think it's time I do some maintenance. Not the broken wheel, but look here. See my valve stems are correct. And it's broken more than one spot. So tell me, what would you replace those with? Regular rubber valve stems? Or should I upgrade? Let me know what you think. Do not get my finger. So I don't know if you can see on the inside of the bead, and it's separated there. See that? I believe I found my slow leak. Maybe it's got another spot back here. All right, so the people have spoken. Rubber valve stems it is. Yes, these are cheap valve stems. But that's what I can get local. Four of them. Um, you've seen in the little previous video clip I did. I had four bad ones. One good one. I also picked up valve stem install tool. We'll see how that works. I believe I picked all these up from the NARS. So, as you can see, valve stem will screw in there. You can use this to pop the new valve stem in. Alright, so I'm going to start with the spare tire, show you how I do it, and then do a time lapse for the other three. Alright, so what I'm going to use to replace the valve stems is want a pocket knife to cut the old valve stems out, new valve stems, valve stem install tool. I don't have a tire machine, so I'm going to break the tires down with a bottle jack and a trailer hitch without the ball on it. So, yes, it's a little windy. Uh, we're still dealing with effects from that hurricane that went through, ran scene or whatever. So there may be a little uh, wind noise, but I'm gonna back my work truck over here. I'm gonna put the uh, trailer hitch in there and I'll show you how to break tires down. receiver is a two and a half so there can be some flop in it but I believe it'll be fine that rooster is going to drive me insane today if anybody needs a rooster I have seven and I only need two holler at me you can have chickens and chicken and dumplings or whatever I don't care all right so I'm gonna pull the valve core out Got this style and the style to clean your valve stems. I prefer the key. One thing probably shouldn't stand in private. Still 
All right, I'm driving up on it. side with mud. Yep. So now I gotta remove both beads. Well I guess that's one good use for a high lift. Bottle jack will not quite do it. I don't have enough throw. What am I gonna do? I'll figure something out. Let me try something with four wheel drive and drive up on the edge of that. Are bead locks necessary? So one thing I should have mentioned was you probably should mark your your tire and your wheel to make sure your tire don't spin on your wheel and uh, throw your alignment out of balance. Man, I love that Dynamax muffler. I'll blow all the uh, sand and stuff out of the bead. I guess I'll uh, put my table to the test. If you think it's a military jet, we will uh, look on that flat radar and see. Oh, not a military jet. I know, woodworking tools probably is not the best thing. But here, I'm gonna pry this out and try to get a piece of wood stuck in there. On top on either side of this valve stem. Goodness gracious. Stick your fingers in there. One thing you'll try to do is keep the uh, piece of rubber from falling down into the wheel. Should be touch tape. Pry this whole thing out. Nope, broke off. All right, something I really don't want to do is stick my finger in there. All right, got that piece out. Got my valve stem tool and my new valve stem. Probably clean that out a little bit. Reach right over here in my toolbox and what I have is Nice little critter here for the uh, battery cable. Probably should put a little bit of uh, soap or something on that. We're going to see. Well, I really don't want to stick my finger in there. Alright, a little soapy water. Just gonna uh, mist it. Well, that sucked. Blow right through it. Huh. 
guess these are actually a little too big. Let me see here. Got some more in here, and they're the same size. Yeah, I think those are too big. I tell I've never worked in a tire shop. I didn't know there was different size valve stems. I guess I should have. I just didn't. I guess maybe TR stands for tractor, trailer. Huh. Rim hole. Well, I guess when I get five other valve stems, then uh, I'll continue this video. The more you know, huh? Here. You can see the two different size valve stems. And uh, so I guess what I'll do, I'll pull the uh, valve core out of this one that I just broke, throw it in the bag with the rest of them, and I'll go find right size valve stems. I hate to be made out an idiot. And changing these valve stems has made me look like an idiot. All right, so I just swung by Napa and picked up the correct valve stem. These are inch and a quarter long. That's the shortest they had in the correct size just stick with me and uh watch me be an idiot a little bit longer well maybe today i won't look like such an idiot trying to get this thing going so i got the right size valve stem you see a difference there pretty big difference Slide this through the hole. Tighten this tool on there. And pop. That easy. Let me clean this bead up and we'll uh, see if I can get some air in it. Alright, so I'm just going to use an old Brillo pad. Oh, it was. Come on. I feel some grit all the way around. I can only assume. Uh, I don't want that stuff in there. Well, stink. Okay, so to reseat this, I'm going to pull the valve core out of it. Spray this side down, soak and water. Grab my air hose. And go to air. Oh, you know what? Can't do it with that. There's no valve still in it. What I can do it with is this. And now I heard up the pressure. put 70 pounds in it um, that's plenty I'll leave 70 pounds in them 
for a couple days to make sure they uh, seal. No leaks now. So throw this back on the bumper and start taking tires off the truck. I had a mosquito fly in both ears. I had surround sound for a minute. It's kind of weird. I have four more tires to do, but I have to pull, I have to jack the vehicle up, take it off the axles and do it. And it'll be the same way on the trail, except you may have to use a log instead of a four by six, or you may have a high lift jack to break that bead loose. That's the best bet is the high lift jack. Um, but other than that, that can be done that way on the trail. All right, so I moved into the uh, front yard underneath the carport. So in the next episode, I'll be changing some more valve stem parts. Just not the same kind of valve stem. So if anybody's attending Rendezvous in the Ozarks this year, I'll be oh. attending the rig roundup. I'll have a spot, I'll park my truck, and then you can come up and talk to me about the truck. And uh, Thursday morning, I will be, I'll be running the moderate trail. Um, I'll be running quite a few trails this that weekend, but that right there is one of the guided ones and I'm gonna do that. So if you see me at Rendezvous in the Ozarks, holler at me. Thanks for watching y'all. Have a good one.